Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Ruby Dragon on here once again. And I gotta keep my excitement kinda down a little bit because everyone's trying to sleep. That's in my house. Except for my wife, she's still upstairs, but she'll probably come down here sooner or later. You know, things happen in these in my videos, you know, it's all raw footage, no edited or anything like that as of this moment. So we're gonna try and keep things down a little bit today, even though I can't hold in my excitement any longer. Um as everyone else has been trying to do with the new Bakugan stuff. They've been trying to look for the new Wave 3 stuff and the all-new Bakugan uh, booster packs re uh, called Bakugan Battle... Uh, is it Bakugan Battle Planet Resurgence? I don't know. It's called um, uh, Bakugan Resurgence is the new booster pack that's supposed to be coming out sometime soon. It's been hitting a couple states. Uh, so far, has not hit mine yet. Um, I live on the East Coast, so um, we're probably not going to get it for a while. <laughs> but... We did get something today. If you guys haven't seen on my, uh, well, no, no, on my, if you guys haven't seen my earlier video when I was at lunch, I went to my Walmart and this time something was different. I do have a later, uh, an earlier video where I went to my Walmart and everything was like all wave one stuff, you know, and it's been like that for weeks. It was still like that, but there was something different. But first, let me address the elephant in the room. This is my little mascot here is my butch dragonoid he is my favorite bakugan of all time i just love the figure so much um a very strong bakugan at 900 g's probably 890 and then it gets plus 10 g's for its double strike ability so 900 g's you know it wasn't really the strongest but it was uh, my favorite of a dragonoid line um back when gondali innovators was around and they had the um bakugan dimensions on the computer and everything or online um, when it was up, uh, Blitz Dragon was my number one go-to Bakugan, and it won me a bunch of battles, and I just love the figure, the way it looks and everything, so, but besides that point, um, just thought he's gonna be in the videos from now on, um, and everything, so I just thought I'd mention that, well, well, I'm still on this, but, so when's my warmer today? And, something was different. Something was very different. Um, they had Wave 3. And, holy crap, I freaked out. <laughs> um, so, for today's video, guys, we're going to be reviewing the Pyrus Fangzor. Let me get it better. There we go. Ah, uh, the uh, Pyrus Fangzor set. And I must say, the Fangzor is probably going to be my newest favorite Bakugan because it looks so cool. Um, I, of course, can't wait for the Ultra Dragon one because that looks really cool as well. But so far, we have no Deluxe. We have no Ultras or Cores from Wave 3 or anything like that yet. But we do have the starters. And I am going to review this for you guys. So, first things first. And I'm going to try to keep my excitement down. But I'm going to try and still do like an excitement voice. But we're going to, tr we're, we're going to see what happens with that. Um... So anyway, guys, we have the Pirates Fangs for Starter Pack, and like I said, I'm very excited to open this up for you guys. I know. Rant, rant, rant. He's excited. We get it. Just open it already. Hold your horses. I'm getting there. So, of course, we have the Pirates Fangs are right here. I don't know what that is. I think it's a Heos or Heos uh, Mantanoid uh, core figure, but I don't know. And unfortunately, we have another um, Auralis Nilius. And this is what I have a problem with the starter sets, is that, and even the five packs and the... Um, the deck sets is that they have Bakugan that you can buy in either singles or other sets and they don't have enough variation with the other ones and it's that's kind of uh you get doubles of everything you know but I guess that's what trades are for so hopefully um later down the road I can be able to do some more do some trades with some people or or something um but yes we have the two helixes down here so we're gonna go see what's on the back here because I want to get this done because this is the only way three starter pack that I bought. I also bought the Tertonium pack as well. So, and we'll see how everything runs with this today. So, of course, we have the Pirates Fangs. It seems like everything's out of, like, I don't know. I have everything set up the same way, so I don't understand why it doesn't seem like, like I can't get a good picture of this. Maybe because it's so tall. But he has a one difficulty for transformation. We got a good look at Fangs right there. With, I believe it looks like, like a different color scheme like this. is yellow right there. And the tail's orangish, yellow, and... 
it's kind of the same thing there, but except not not entirely, not the same colors at least. That's more like a mustard yellow. Um, of course, with these starter packs, you get all three character cards plus three ability cards. You get six back of core, and we have, of course, we have Fangzor, and then we have the Auralis Nilius, and I don't know what that is. Um, we'll find out here soon. Um, of course, the cores just have the normal Bakugan open action, which is just they roll in the go go, and then the Ultras have that leaping action. So we're going to hopefully see that today, um, and everything. So, without further ado, this video is going on for too long. <laughs> Let's go ahead and look at this. Let's go ahead and get this thing open. So I'm going to open up off camera, unfortunately, because um, I want to get it done quick and simple. But at least you guys can hear everything. I hope. Um, I actually don't watch these videos back or anything because I um, think that my voice is kind of annoying and that's kind of like why I'm... Also another reason why I'm doing these videos is because I'm trying to be more confident with myself and everything. So, oof, that is a beautiful figure, if I must say. And the ball is also a little difficult, so... Nilius came out easily. It's this one I'm having difficult with because it looks like the the hole is a little too small. I know this video is gonna go on forever if I don't get this guy out. Holy crap. I do not know what I can do. That's funny, I can't get him out, guys. <laughs> so, uh... And no, it's not an April Fool's joke. I know that, um, as I'm recording this, this is on April Fool's Day. Um, it's still going on. It's like 10 o'clock. So, what I'm actually going to do here, and, well, I'm going to attempt to get them out a little bit more than what I have. Holy crap. Look. <laughs> like, it looks like the hole is, like, too small for me even trying to get them out. We're gonna try something here instead. These like little. Uh... All right, I think we can get them out now. Finally, after struggling. <laughs> for so long with that thing and I'm not a weak guy but that thing was I think that thing would make a freaking strong guy even be like wow this is really stuck in here <laughs> alright guys so let's go ahead and look at the cores of course we got the first double helix here that gives us minus 100b and plus 4 <laughs> as I drop it the second helix here gives us plus 100B and minus 1. I'm going to try and go a little faster, guys, so bear with me. Minus 3 with a green fist. Plus 100 and plus 3 damage to Ventus and Heos, another green fist. A shield, if it focuses, but I guess it won't. Plus 100B power. And the last green fist gives us plus 150 and plus 2 damage. Okay. So we're going to move uh, Bliss Dragon Rider to the side here. We're going to go ahead and roll the ones we do not have open. Create a small little hide, ma hide matrix here. I know this video is going on forever. I'm sorry, guys. Things happen, and I unfortunately do not have 
editing software for my videos or anything. So these videos are, like I said, raw and uncut. So we already know who this is. This is our realist back gun here. And of course it's an alias. We already knew that. So let's go ahead and oh okay, okay, okay. There, so it is Hayos Mantanoid. Had a feeling. So with that, so we have them all open, we're just gonna go ahead and get the cards out and everything here. So of course we got Arlos Nilius, Heos Mantanoid, and Pyrus Fangs or Ultra, which I'm really excited to have. And then of course we got Lava Boost, Dream Illusion, and Cease Heos. All right. We're gonna go ahead and put these to the side here. And of course you get a instruction book to play the simple game, not the trading card game. But the uh, simpler game, we just roll it back again, and it just goes off by their B power and stuff. But here, huh? This is interesting. Here's, of course, Fangzor's instruction seat. But here we have a Wave One list still in a Wave Three product. That's kind of weird. So Fangzor folds up like this. And then folds it down like that. That is exactly how simple this thing is. Very simple. Let's go ahead and roll him. Whew, wow. That was cool. He didn't stand up correctly, but we're just going to go ahead with that. And he, his magnet is on his head, so... And it's plus 100B, and I believe he's a 400B power. Let me see where his... Uh, Yep, 400, so it's 500 B power. So that's not bad. Alright, guys. We're going to go ahead and end it here, because we kind of went on a little long with this. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, even though there was a couple of things going on going wrong. But, you know, things like that happen in my videos, and I just go and roll with it. So, <laughs> anyway, guys. If you guys enjoyed this content in this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more epic Bakugan content, including Beyblade and everything else in between, that sort of stuff, and just things that I personally enjoy. Also, if you'd like to, hit the notification button so you get notified every time that I upload a video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good night.